guys welcome to the channel it's been a minute since i've been recording but i'm gonna get into that in another video um got a big surprise that just arrived just got home from work and as i was pulling out our actual company you excuse me our company fedex guy dropped off some stuff at the office and as i'm pulling in with my son i turn around and he's pulling up at the apartment complex and we got something special going Be back. So we had to pull it from all the way up there, over the rim, through this whole puddle right here. And we're gonna put that right there. <laughs> Let's see what we got guys. Hey guys, so what I picked up was an air bag it kit, uh, one of the plug and play air engine setups. Um, this kit right here actually is the uh, 150 PSI 3/8 valves uh, with all the brass valves and fittings, and it also comes with the DC 480 compressor, um, complete with front left, uh, right left, right rear, and uh, front rear set up with also pancake as well as the chrome air tank as well airbags top mount brackets and bottom brackets pretty much a full plug-and-play setup um, this was not a complete setup because I do actually still have I just ordered it today the wiring harness as well as the gauge controller um, that should be in by Friday and everything else is here and ready to hook up. Hey what's up guys. So basically to be honest with you I didn't plan on buying an air rod suspension kit. Um, it just so happens I was surfing Craigslist one day uh, looking for some cars to flip and then um, I actually came across an air ride kit set up for a 65 Chevrolet Impala. Um, I hit the guy up. It had been up, it had been for sale for maybe about a month and a half or so. Um, offered him a price on it. We worked out the shipping and PayPal uh, details and then um, he went ahead and shipped it. Um, for what I got it for, it would be hard for me not to pass it up considering air ride kits run between a thousand dollars to fifteen hundred dollars for a pretty good decent setup of course they go a little more they get a little more pricey after that but for everything that i got which is almost pretty much a, a 90 percent complete kit and it also includes the brackets for 65 to 66 chevrolet impala i couldn't beat it so i shipping the thing was a monster um I thought it only be extra 55 bucks and ended up turning out to be like a extra 240 bucks because it's about 170 pounds to ship um but I still came in paying hardly nothing for the kit so I couldn't pass it up um as of right now I'm not exactly sure if I do want to run it on the 66 Impala convertible or go ahead and do it on the 64 Impala um I'm not exactly sure yet, so um, I could use some help on the decision. Uh, go ahead and, uh, if you can, leave a comment below. I definitely appreciate it. Um, the frame for the 64 Impala is already wrapped, so um, I don't plan on juicing that yet for the simple fact that I live in an apartment complex and I do not have any way of charging all of those batteries. Um, I can't have it out on a carport because I don't have one. And even though they make the multiple car charger, uh, assuming car battery chargers for those type of setups I'm not running a cord all the way from my apartment complex to the car to the parking lot to go ahead and do it so um, with that we'll see, we'll see how it goes uh, like I said my bad guys for not providing y'all some content to check out over the past like month and a half maybe even two months um, I'm gonna do an update video uh, later tonight on everything um, but hope you liked the video uh, like always, like, share, and subscribe. Uh, talk to you on a few. Bye.